Much has changed in the construction industry in the nearly 40 years since Joe Koch Sr. founded his business, Joe Koch Construction, in Austintown. But one thing that hasn't changed, according to his son, Joe Koch Jr., is the challenging nature of the industry. Just like, like it was two, three years ago, we're still batting, battling supply chain issues with certain things, but, uh, but I, I see the next couple years battling something else. It's, it's never, never smooth sailing. Today we see how the father and son have pivoted to bolster the family business and hear what challenges are impacting home construction in the valley in family business. The Family Business Series is sponsored by H.D. Davis CPAs and White Glove Payroll. Joe Koch Construction started in 1984 when Joe Koch Sr., a lifelong carpenter, decided to go into business for himself, working for general contractors framing homes. In 1988, he had the opportunity to purchase a company called Stangem Homes, uh, which was one of the largest uh, uh, volume builders within the Mahoning Valley. Went from being a subcontractor that was just doing the framing and trim carpentry portion of, of uh, building a home to now building uh, upwards of 80 homes a year. Joe Koch Jr. joined his father's company right after the recession of 2008. The two realized that to stay afloat, the business would need to do more than just build new homes. The biggest thing that we did as a company uh, was back in 08, 09, uh, when the, the Great Recession took place, uh, was becoming a more diverse company that uh, now does uh, more than just building new construction homes. And with doing that, I, I feel uh, whatever is thrown, uh, thrown our way as an economy or, or locally or nationally, we'll be able to uh, adjust accordingly. Today, Coke Construction also does renovations such as kitchen remodels, additions such as sunrooms, as well as light commercial work, including restaurants and office buildings. While the pivot helped them survive the 2008 housing crisis, new obstacles have emerged. Coke says a big one is the cost to develop new lots, particularly when wetlands are present. Here at Heron's Landing in Austintown, a designated wetland, outlined by the poles with the white reflectors, sits landlocked on parts of two separate lots. Coke's choices are either leave the lots empty and eat the cost, or pay the Army Corps of Engineers to mitigate the wetland and offset it by creating a new one nearby. The industry is ever-changing. Uh, right now, our biggest battle is, is obviously inflation and the interest rates, but uh, with those battles come different uh, clientele that you're dealing with. Uh, uh, there's a phenomenon that we, we call uh, boomerang families that are they're the people that are moving back into the area that uh, either relocated or moved uh, semi-permanently away from here for 20 to 30 years and and for one reason or another they're they're looking to move back into the area so uh, we have several of homes that we're building right now that are those uh, type of people. Koch says in the near future the industry will also have to contend with an aging workforce but he's confident the demand for housing will ensure opportunities remain for home builders ready and willing to seize them. What I see in the next five years, I, I see new construction becoming that much more important within this local economy as uh, we, we take on uh, different type of companies within the area, whether it be with uh, the, the battery plant, TJ Maxx, uh, Lordstown, uh, you're going to have an influx of people that are moving into this area that are going to need places to live. The Family Business Series is sponsored by H.D. Davis CPAs and White Glove Payroll.